Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. Taurus, thank you so much for joining me. For those who are new, my name is Gigi, and welcome. Welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. So, Taurus, for today's Tarot Reading, no contact. What is going on between you and your person? Why isn't there any contact? What is it that you need to know? And the possible outcome. So, let's get straight into it, Taurus. I will be using the Mermaid card, then followed by the Tarot of Owls to clarify. If you do wish to purchase any of these cards, that's down below in the description box. Okay, come on, Taurus. Let's find out what is going on between you and your person. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Every week you get two readings, one from myself and the other one from Fifi. Excellent. Behind the deck, we do have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups show that there's a bit of boredom, Taurus, at the moment. There's a bit of, yeah, boredom, feeling a little bit, feeling a little bit melancholic, feeling that, oh, everything's just useless at the moment here. I will say, though, there's going to be an opportunity presented to you with the Four of Cups here. Make sure you keep your head held high. Look for the signs, the messages. Because something will be presented to you. Kind of think about like an opportunity from the universe that's going to get you out of this situation where you're kind of like feeling sorry for yourself. Yeah, you're going to get out of that, Taurus. Okay. Let's have a look at your cards. Okay. Mm. Okay. So we do have the Eight of Cups. This definitely has been an ending. This is the reason why. This already the cards are already telling me, yep, there's definitely no contact whatsoever. Most likely you left Taurus. I'm feeling that there was a situation that you were feeling that this situation was no longer serving you. You weren't feeling inspired. You weren't it just wasn't feeling right between you and your person. So there's no contact now. There is that really big separation between the both of you. And we also have the Seven of Swords. Now, I do definitely believe now this is the card of lying, stealing, and cheating. Not necessarily does it have to be cheating, but lies, definitely, where your person may have betrayed your trust, compromised your, you know, your trust, your values, everything. And you're probably wondering, okay, why is this person lying? Why are they sneaking out at night? You may have found something on their phone, perhaps where there's been text messages, I'm feeling, yeah, seeing that there's something with the phone here, with the seven of swords. And yeah, there's just been a lot of dishonesty. However, though, you do have the wheel of fortune, Taurus. So from being at the bottom of the wheel, you're going to be on top now. In other words, you're going to really pick yourself up now. You're going to get out of this situation feeling sorry for yourself, especially with the four of cups in the beginning. You're going to start to regain your confidence, regain the person that you, who you are, definitely. Remember, the Wheel of Fortune is all related to luck. So you are a lucky person, Taurus. Luck is definitely on your side. Your spirit team is working very hard in the background to help you. Let's have a look at your person. Nine, temperance, page. Mm. Nine of Swords, so your person's not sleeping at night. No. If anything, they're worrying, they're stressing, they have high anxiety. So this person is, whatever has happened here, they, they're really regretting it. There's a lot of regret here, there's a sadness, there's a lot of anguish here. Most of all, guilt, regret, and What's happening here, they're literally having nightmares. They can't sleep. As soon as they hit their bed on their pillow, they're thinking about this entire situation. Now, when it comes to regret, perhaps they could have handled things a little bit differently, perhaps been a little bit more honest, more front. And yet, this is all caused because of their actions, because of what they've done. We have temperance as the beating heart of the reading. It's all about finding balance. 
So balance is this person will eventually get out of this. You also, Taurus, you're going to get out of this and find that balance. In other words, finding that self-love for yourself, your person also finding that self-love and just trying to balance your life. Don't forget to have fun. Don't forget to reconnect with your hobbies. Do the things that you love to do. It's super important. Now you also have, <laughs> curiouser and curiouser, the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords is the card of curiosity. Yes, your person is very curious about you, Taurus. It's also the spying card where they could be looking at what you're posting through social media, you know, kind of like spying on you through social media, making sure what you're up to, what are you posting up, what is your activity. So I do think, yes, definitely, I always refer to the Page of Swords, the card of curiosity, because this person's stepping out into the unknown, they're wondering, curious of what you are doing. Now, the Page of Swords is all about messages, communication. So yes, this person may comment on something that's online. They may send you a text message. It's small, but it's a start. Let's have a look. Hmm, another page. Your person is going to be reaching out to you, Taurus. It's going to be small, though. It's going to be a message. You're going to be happy, though, when they reach out. Because you also have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles, as you can see, this person is super happy. But this is also the student card. This overall, though, Taurus, it will be a lesson. You're going to be learning something from this. You probably don't know what it is now. You're probably thinking, well, I don't know what I'm going to learn from this. That's fine. You will gain some knowledge from it, some sort of wise experience. You also have judgment. Judgment is a card of resurrection. So definitely your person is planning to come back. This whole point of no contact, that's not going to be for long. Judgment speeds up the pace. So this is going to happen a lot sooner than what you think. And you will be in a position of power, Taurus, where you will be judging this person. Think of yourself as the judge, the juror, and the executioner. You're judging this person. You're listening to their words. You're looking at their behavior. You're listening to your instincts here. And judgment also gives you that, it, it kind of gives you, when you see things a lot clearly now, you see things with your eyes opened. And you also end with my favorite card, the sun. So this person is definitely coming back with good intentions. You will be judging them and it's going to feel right. And you're going to take a chance with this person. The sun lowers the blow of any challenging cards that, can, that, that have come out. Think of the sun as bliss, abundance. It's like both of you were meant to be together. This person like is realizing this finally. It's like, what am I doing? I need to be with Taurus. They're finally realizing that they bring you bring Taurus balance into their world, harmony, bliss. This is why they're going to be reaching out. Now they're going to be reaching out in a very strategic way, looking at what what are you doing online, what are you up to, and then they're finding that right moment to send you that golden opportunity, something solid. It's going to make you happy though. You're going to be really really happy. And yes, you're actually going to be happy that this person is returning the card of resurrection. Let's find out. Let's clarify this reading. So I'm going to use the Tarot of Owls now. Let's find out more. What else does Taurus need to know about this person? Overall, great card. I love seeing the sun. Fantastic card, Taurus. So I definitely feel, yes, it's going to work out. This person returning even though there's been no contact, oh, this person definitely wants to come back. They miss you. Okay. Okay, what else does Taurus need to know, please? The Eight of Cups, yeah, also with the Five of Pentacles, yeah. This is the card of rejection. 
this is the card of feeling uh, left out in the cold. So yeah, this this person wasn't exactly really nice to you, Taurus. Definitely, you felt that rejection. You felt like that betrayal with this person, unfortunately. And yeah, it's sometimes with the five of pentacles, kind of like think about someone that's gone missing in action. Someone that's like, you text them, you never hear back from them. And you got to the point where it's like, why am I even with this person? You, you, I don't feel this person was giving you the, the attention that you crave or not, not putting enough input into this relationship. That's what's happened. The seven of swords also with the ten of wands, it's caused a lot of stress. This person being dishonest, this person just lying, it's caused a lot of stress with the Ten of Wands. Slow down. Make sure, Taurus, find that moment just to slow down, to take some time out. Because I, because the fact that this card has already come out, you're still stressing about this whole situation. So just slow down. The Wheel of Fortune, also with the Hierophant. This is Taurus energy. See, Taurus... You're quite the traditionalist in the sense you don't like to skip steps. You like to do things step by step. This is also the commitment card. You are a committed person. And because the universe literally sees this, Taurus, that you are a good person, that you 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 put your share, all the work into this relationship, it's like you're going to get luck towards this. Like I'm actually going to say you're a very lucky person too. The Hierophant also shows a wise counsellor. So it even suggests, even if you want to see a wise counsellor, that can be someone like a psychologist, a psychotherapist, where someone just helps you to go through your emotions. If there's any baggage or anything, any negative beliefs that you need help with, it does show that seek a wise counsellor just to help you. What else can you tell me? also have judgment. So judgment has come out twice. Judgment, judgment. Yeah, you're going to be judging your person, Taurus. Absolutely. The card of resurrection. And you're going to be acting more like the, the counselor, person, judging your person here. But all these cards, three major arcanas, it's all pointing to from being Seriously, like at the bottom of the wheel with this person, you're going to be on top of the wheel. So despite everything that's happened here, things are definitely going to be working out. Definitely. Look at your person, the Nine of Swords, also with the Three of Cups. Yeah, so there's been an issue here. Three of Cups is the card of celebrations, but there may have been an issue, like I said before, like lies. This person lying to your face. There may be issues of partying too much with the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups shows people getting together. They're drinking. They're celebrating. And there may have been issues in regards to too much celebrate, too much celebration. It's caused arguments with the Five of Wands here. Arguments, finger pointing, even toxic energy. It could even be toxic people around this person, like friends that, mm, that you need to be careful too. People, like they show you one face and the next minute they stab you behind the, your back. So I don't feel this person has really good people in their inner circle. Temperance, also with the Knight of Wands. It's all about taking action here. So yes, your person is definitely going to take action here. They're going to finally realize what's important to them, what they need to do. So definitely there's going to be action and it will bring balance into your life. The Page of Swords. Also with the Six of Wands, this is victory, the card of victory. And despite all the setbacks, the challenges, this won't be accomplished overnight. But yes, this person, it's like you have your battles, but in the end, this person wins the war. So yes, this person wants victory with you, Taurus. And Word of warning, with the Six of Wands, sometimes there will be some jealous people around your person. Not so much around you, Taurus, but your person, yeah, they're going to get jealous because it, your person wants you back and some people are not going to like that. Don't worry about those people, Taurus. Keep doing what you are doing. 
the page of pentacles also with the six of swords excellent moving away from turbulent times and into calmer waters excellent so you're moving away from all the stress this person i feel like when they contact you it's just going to put a smile in your face because you're actually going to be happy that this person has contacted you the swords are pointing down which is excellent everything that you had to say you said it if you look at the judgment card also with the page of pentacles so this has come out twice this is going to be a golden opportunity take it absolutely taurus make sure you take it so also the student card this is going to bring some sort of life experience you're going to learn a lot from this you're going to gain a lot of wisdom what about the sun what do we know Ooh, nice you finish with the ace of wands this is going to be a brand new beginning. This is, there's a lot of passion here. Healing, a new cycle, a new chapter. And it's amazing. Like you've got your challenging cards up here, but yet your person finds a way to like, kind of like wake up a bit. And they finally realize, wait a second, what am I doing? I miss Taurus. I want to be with Taurus. Judgment has come out twice, and you also end with the Ace of Wands and the Sun. Bliss, abundance. You may travel to a hot and sunny place to meet up, but literally, this is the Sun is bringing harmony to both of you. It's absolutely just wonderful. Also, have the Page of Wands. Take action. Do not hold back. Do not overanalyze it. Just go for it. This is all going to come in a form of a message. It's going to be more like a message, not like um, not so much face to face. It can lead to face to face, but it's going to be something small because we have a lot of pages here. We have the page of swords, the page of pentacles, the page of wands. There's going to be lots of small messages between the both of you. And I would definitely take it. Absolutely, Taurus. You have the sun. You're going to be, look, and I'll take out another card. You may be a little bit indecisive. With the two of pentacles, like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. What should I do? You have the sun and also the ace of wands. I would definitely go for it. I will not hesitate at all. You also have the chariot. It's going to happen a lot sooner than what you think. The chariot, think of the chariot as excellent news coming towards you. It's time to get excited. Think about the chariot. This is someone that's very adventurous. This is someone that wants adventure with you and they're charging towards you. This is absolutely beautiful. So excellent reading, Taurus. You have a lot to look forward to. And again, just go with the flow. You will see there's definitely someone resurrecting, coming back into the picture. So even though there's no contact, do expect contact in a small, in a sense of a small message. Excellent. Thank you so much, Taurus, for joining me. Power to you. I wish you a beautiful day and I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.